Hi, everybody. My name is Lorraine. I'm going to be uh, talking about I'm going to be talking about predictions, um, just waiting for people to enter the class. Um, I'm from Canada and I'm interested in meeting all you people from all over the world. Um, welcome and I'm amazed that everybody wants to learn English. It's a great thing. I wish that uh, I was as good at learning Spanish as uh, you people have been in learning your English. So I'm just waiting for people to enter the class. And hope that all is well. We're going to be discussing predictions, in particular a bunch of predictions that were made throughout the ages that uh, were really wrong. Um, so they're kind of interesting to, uh, to reread now and see how wrong they were. And we'll also be looking at <clears throat> parts of grammar in used uh, in uh, talking about uh, predictions and things that might have happened or did happen <clears throat> or could have happened. Nine viewers. I'm not seeing anybody. <clears throat> Uh -oh. I have viewers, but I can't write in my chat, and I don't see anybody in class yet. Hi, Mo. Hi, <coughs> Chair. Hello. Hopefully, we'll do better this time. Yeah, I hope. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi, Hello. Hopefully, we'll do better this time. Oh no, I'm still hearing a uh, an echo. I don't understand. Okay, I'm sorry. Hello. Hello. Okay, getting lots of people in now. James. Hi, James. Yeah. Yeah. Where, Hi. where are you from? From Thailand. From Thailand. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome to the class. Great to be here. Good. Julissa? Julissa, am I saying that right? Yeah, that's right. Hello, teacher. I'm Hello. Julissa, and I'm from Peru. And, I'm uh, sorry, from where? Peru. Peru. Can you write it? I can't hear you properly. Peru. Peru? Peru? Yeah. yeah. My very ah. chat is not working. The chat. Okay. Yeah. No, the chat isn't working for any of us, I think. Anyway, welcome. Thank you. Hi, Mina. Hey, hey. Mr. You're there. <laughs> Maybe you should try turning down your microphone just a little bit, Mina. That might work. You're still really loud and uh, echoey. So if you maybe um, turn it down it a bit. Better? That's a little better. No. Good. Yes. Okay. I was putting my mouth and there's a mic. <laughs> okay, don't eat it. <laughs> Hi, Mo. <laughs> no, don't. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi, Thanks for Glad coming again. again. <laughs> You're welcome. And Russell. 
Rasal, am I saying that right? Hi, teacher. Hello. Where are you from, Rasal? Uh, I'm from Albany, New York. Albany, New York. Yes. And you're learning English. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm from uh, a subcontinent. Ah, I see. Okay. Well, welcome. I have been here for a few months. Okay. Slim. Hi, teacher. Hello. No. See if we can get you up. There we are. And where are you from, Slim? I'm from Tunisia. I'm sorry, from? Tunisia. Tunisia. Ah, oh, welcome. Very nice. Thank you. And Unai, is that how you pronounce your name? Yes. Okay. Already. Maybe try Hello. turning down your mic a little bit. You're very loud. Yes, now? Uh, a little bit more. Moment. Okay. Now? That sounds okay. better. Yeah, that's good. Thank okay. you. Okay. You are welcome. So, welcome everybody, and we're going to be talking about predictions today. Um, what do you think was the most important invention in the last hundred years? So, over the last hundred years, what was the one thing that really you think changed the world? Computers. Internet. Internet, computer. What was this Internet and computer. Who was that? Slim? Don't this stuff. Okay, with Gary. Hello. Electricity. Electricity, yeah, that's a good one. I agree. Because without electricity, we would have nothing. We would have no lights, we would have no internet. That's very true. That's a good one. Anything else? Mad sign. Sorry? Mad sign. Medicine. Yeah. Ah, medicine. Yes, medicine. Well, have Power we had... Medicine. <laughs> the advanced of medicine. But medicine. Automobile. What was that one? Okay, Mina, we're having trouble with your audio again. It's doing funny things. Teacher, can I suggest something? Yes, please. Uh, shall we start oh. using the blue chat box instead of the verbing chat box? Um, how do we do that? Uh, at the top, the chat, the usual chat. Usual chat. So, okay, there. Okay. So we, yeah. So we, when okay. we don't understand each other, we can Good type. plan. Thank you. Uh, yes. Okay, that works. Thank you very much for that suggestion. That's excellent. Okay. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to start with my screen share, which I always do and sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. Uh, wait a minute. Um, let's get this on to the show. There we go. Now I can share it. Bear with me here. Um, there. All right, come on, show my screen. There we go. All right, predictions. Now, did everybody um, download the worksheet for this lesson for predictions? There was a worksheet yes. that was... Okay. Yes. So, <laughs> number two, we're looking at keywords. So, if I can have... Um, Slim, can you read the uh, instructions for this, starting with keywords? Okay. Match the word on the left with the, the correct... Yeah, no, uh, definitions. The correct definition on the right. Yeah. Right. Repeat definitions. Definition. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to look at the first word, which is um, Julissa. Can you read the first word? The first. 
okay, number one. Number Moga, one. A mogul. A mogul, yes. A mogul. A mogul. Now, we're going to look at all the definitions on the right hand side, the A, B, C, D, E, F. Which one of those do you think a mogul is? What is defining mogul? Okay, and that's I, for everybody. <laughs> I guess maybe A. I don't know. I'm guessing. A okay. Um, no, it's not a machine. Would anybody else like to take a stab at this? Intelligent. I'm sorry? Intelligent. 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 No, that's not a mogul. A mogul is going to be something. It's either um, a An important person. person. Yes, okay, so that's right. For long, for long time was your no. Okay, so just give me the letter you think it is. D. I'm sorry? D. D. D yes, as in I agree. D. All right, let's see. D it is. So somebody would read that. Uh, uh, Unai, can you read the definition of a mogul, please? D. An important, powerful person in business or entertainment. 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 Correct. That's good. Yes, that's right. Okay. Um, James, number two. What's that word? Stare. Stare. And what does it mean? It means to look, to look at a person for a long time. Okay. With to look for. Open wide. Right. Okay. Whoops. I got that one out of uh, out of sync there. Uh oh. <laughs> um, all right. We'll we'll probably get an arrow eventually. <clears throat> misreport somebody. To misreport. See. Um, who said that? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so you think see misre re misreport somebody. What does misreport mean, do you think? To give uh, wrong, wrong information. information. The wrong information, that's right. So, which one is close yeah. to that? G, yeah, that's right. Let's see if my pointer is going to work. Yes, okay. And a rumor. <clears throat> Story that people hear from other people which they are not Rumor is definitely C. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Well, I kind of gave that one away. <laughs> okay. Um, number five. Uh, who haven't I picked on? Gary, number five. What is it? What's the A sensation. word? Sensation. A sensation. And what do you think it means? It can, it can be A story that people hear. I'm sorry? Other people which may. A story that people hear from other people, which may or may not be true. Um, we've already done that one is a rumor, is C, a story that people hear from other people. So we're doing a sensation now. Sensation. What does that make you think of? Something which causes great excitement. To look, to, to, to look for a long time. Um, to look for a long time. That was stare. That was stare, and I didn't get a um, a pointer up for that one, unfortunately. Okay. It's it's uh, something which caused great excitement. Yes, that's correct. Something that causes great excitement. Oh, did I get that one wrong too? I did this very fast. There it is. Okay, and we got stare in now. Yes, I, it was out of out of sync. The next one is number six. Um, Slim, bright. can you read that uh, that word? Yes, bright. Bright. And what do you think it means? A machine which clean floor and other surface by sucking up dust and dirt. Mm, okay, not for bright. Something that's intelligent. <laughs> okay, that was Julissa. Intelligent. 
Yeah. Many, is... many of us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I heard your voice best. Yeah. Um, okay, number seven. Uh, Unai, uh, what is number seven? No, no. A, pi a pioneer. A pioneer, yes. So what uh, definition do you think matches a pioneer? Yes, it's a person or organization which is one of the first to do something. Exactly right. Good job. Okay. And Mo, um, number eight? Uh, it's a spam. Spam. Uh, yeah, and it's unwanted emails, usually adver advertisements. Advertisements, yes. And last we have is that Heber? Yeah. Is that how you pronounce your name, Heber? A vacuum cleaner. A vacuum cleaner. A machine which cleans floors and other surface by sucking up yeah. dust and dirt. And dirt, yes. Dirt. This word here, surfaces, say surfaces. Surfaces. That's correct, yeah, surfaces. Good job. All right, very good. We'll go on to the next one. Okay, now we have the article that we're going to read. I have it in a, um, a PDF that I can put up on the screen, and also you should have it in your uh, worksheet. It's page two. So if you want to turn to page two of your worksheet, and I will put it on the uh, on the screen as well, hopefully. Uh, okay, there it is. Okay. Okay, Julissa, can you read the title of this article, please? The iPad. It's certain to fail and other predictions the experts would rather forget. <laughs> Very good. And the next line as well, please. Fear? Fear? Fear Alan Sugar is not alone. Many of technology's greatest minds have been proved have been proved very, very wrong. <laughs> very good, thank you. Okay. So the first paragraph, um, Mo, would you read um, the first paragraph, starting at number one? Sure. The telephone, how I'm British. In 1878, Sir William Spreece, the chief engineer of the post office, said that Americans have need of the telephone, but the British do not. We have plenty of messenger boys, <laughs> but with but with nearly eight million handsets in Britain alone, that's almost two per adult. Adult, we've never needed them more. Great, thank you very much. <laughs> messenger boys, eh? <laughs> very funny. Uh, okay, Mina, can you do number two, please? Sure. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Television, boring. Televisions were first sold widely in the 1930s. So what influenced Daryl Lanuk, a Hollywood mogul and founder of the 20th century Fox, when in 1946 he predicted that people would soon get tired of staring at a box every night. Hmm, in 1930, eh? <laughs> yeah. How well that turned out. Okay. <laughs> and number three, uh, Slim, can you read number yes. three, please? Okay. 614 kilobytes of memory, only you need one edition. Let's <laughs> be fair to Bill Gates. He claims he was mis misreported when in 1981 the, um, 
There were the rumors about him that you that uh, nobody would need more than six six hundred uh, six hundred fourteen kilobytes on their PCs. Uh, most machines are sold with the at least two gigabytes of memory. Only three more uh, three thousand five hundred five uh, the amount that people say gates predict. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, the Good next time. one. Uh, Gary, can you read number yes. four, please? Okay. I put something fill. So, uh, sugar, sugar. The, uh, the Amstrad boss has a reputation for straight talking. What then was he thinking when he said in, a, in an interview in February 2005, next next Christmas, the iPad will be dead to finish it gone copy. The media players designed by Apple are one of the technical sensations sensations of the, de sensations of the decade decade selling decade. one hundred decade selling one hundred seventy four million units worldwide. <laughs> Great, thank you. Okay, the next one. Okay, James. Oh, yeah, James. Yeah, in Oops. 1933, a boy, Boeing. 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 A Boeing 247. Wait a second. What, what happened to my? So, sorry. Did you lose it, or did I lose it? No, I. Okay. Oops. Okay. Um, cap, cap, capable, capable, capable of holding ten people to flight. One unnamed engineer proudly declared, "There will never be a bigger plane built." True, if you don't include the. Seven two seven seven three seven seven four seven, and hundreds of other planes, commercial or mi military, perhaps keep his name secret. Was the bright idea, the that brightest, the, the brightest, brightest idea, the bright, the brightest idea that engineer had. Good, thank you. Um, who haven't I picked on? Oops, and I see if I can get this thing back. Um, can you do number six, and I? Yes. Computers are not really for home use. Digital Equipment Corp, better known as DEC, has been a pioneer of the USA computer and the industry. But what was its co-founder, Ken Olsen, thinking when he argued his argued. 19s? Argued. The word is argued. argued, yes. Argued. In 1977, that there is no reason for anybody to have a computer at his home. More than a billion people now have home computers. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, Heber, can you do uh, number seven? Okay. Thank you. The end of span. What Bill Gates can't deny is providing the following piece 
of wisdom to the 24 World Economic Forum. Two years from now, the father of modern information technology said Spain will be solved. As everyone with an email account knows, the number of unwanted emails shows no signing of decreasing. 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 Yes. Good. And the last one, whoops, I have to move my. Okay. So, number eight. Um, Julissa, can you read number eight for me, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Eight. Nuclear vacuum cleaning. Just over half a century ago, Alex Lewitt, president of the Lewitt Corp. Vacuum Company, made a prediction to the New York Times. Nuclear, nuclear powered vacuum cleaners would probably be a reality within 10 years, he said. Hmm, nuclear vacuum cleaners. Interesting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it does sound dangerous. Yes. Okay. So, let's go back to this screen share. Okay, so, taking a look at those articles, hopefully everybody has the article in front of them. You're going to read the article to find out who made the following inaccurate predictions and when. So, what's the first inaccurate prediction? Um, Russell? British will not need telephones. Okay, so it was said by being said by William Priest. Right, William Priest. So William Priest. Oh, and I should have asked you when in 1878. <laughs> yeah, great. Thank you. Uh, James, read number two, please. Yeah, uh, people will soon get bored of watching television. Okay, so who said that and when? Um, Darren Sucks. Zanuck. Zanuck. Yeah, and when? 1946. Okay, let's see what I have. 1946. Good job. Okay. Um, Mo but I think this is not true. Why? I, I don't agree with it. You don't agree what? With um, the people who soon get bored of watching television. No, I think it didn't happen. He made a prediction that was very wrong. I yeah. think that <laughs> everybody loved watching TV and yeah. <laughs> and he was very wrong. That's the whole thing about these predictions. They were all crazy predictions that, that were everybody. very wrong. Teacher, not everybody, please. I don't like watching TV. Oh, that's true. There are some people who don't like to watch TV. I don't watch TV either, but we're all sitting looking at a computer screen and that's so that's not, not like very different. <laughs> they didn't yeah. have those in 1946. Yes. Okay, let's go on to number three. Uh, Diego, you've got a problem. I'm hearing um, lots of noise from you. Can you mute your microphone, please? Yes, I will try to, to modify. Okay. Well, until you do, I'm going to mute you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, um, who do I have here that I can pick on? Um, Slim. Yes. Number three. Uh, 614 kilobytes of memory is the, all that you need, you will need in a computer. Okay. Bill Gates in a... Uh, Nineteen, I think, nineteen eighty, eh, eighty-one. Yes, nineteen eighty-one. Bill Gates. What was he thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Um, 
Okay, Gary, can you read number four, please? Gary there? Gary? Yes? Can you read the number four on the screen? Reporting predictions. Look at the following sentence. No, no, we're, we're at... Sentences from the article. One moment, Gary. We're on uh, question Five. number three, find the information. It's on your first page, and we're doing um, number we're four. doing number four. Find the information. Yeah. Number okay. four. Yes. Do you see it? By by 2006, yes. By 2006, the iPad will no, no longer be popular. Oh, who said that and when did he say it? Alan Sugar. Yeah, Sir Alan Sugar. His, his yeah. name is pronounced Sugar. I don't know sugar. why. Yes, you should not be Sugar, but it is. <laughs> Yay, English. <laughs> like, we have the craziest language. And what year was that? What year was that? Do you see it there? Nice. Anybody else can say what the year was? Yeah, 2005. 2005. Okay, there we go. But it, not, it is not completely wrong prediction. iPods are not very popular. They're not yeah, now. Right now. Yes. But but in uh, you know in 2009 they were crazy popular. <laughs> <laughs> but iPods now they're. It's iPhones, so the iPhones have rather yeah, taken think, over from iPod. <laughs> okay, but, let's. But I still use iPod, though. Do you? Some people iPod. still do. Yeah. yeah. I okay. Love <laughs> That's great. Okay, James, uh, read number five, and see if you can answer. A ten passenger airplane or airplanes will be the biggest plane ever built. So who said that? Uh-uh, not true. <laughs> no, it's not true. But if you look at uh, the paragraph at number five, read who said that and when did he say it? Um, paragraph number five. Mm-hmm. Where is it? In the uh, article that we read. In paragraph oh. number five. It's it's a bit of a... I don't think they actually say his name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's a secret. But, that's right. But so, I think he say in... But he say the year, though. What year was it? 1933. That's right. So this is what I put down. An unnamed engineer in 1933 said that. And I just, I have aeroplane written because in the, um, in the worksheet, that's how they, they wrote it. That is a British spelling of airplane. In North America, in the States and Canada, we do airplane and not aeroplane. Okay, just so you know. But I, I think the way to pronounce it, should, should we pronounce it aeroplane or airplane? If you're British, you would say aeroplane. If you're, if you're American airplane or Canadian, zero. you'd say airplane. <laughs> oh. Okay. okay. So it's, it's just a little bit of difference between the, the two ways of speaking um, English. It's, an, it's um, a dialect or accent or that sort of thing. Just a little different. 
Okay, um, number six. Um, Julissa, would you read number six? Number six. People will not need home computers. Oh, right. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Boy, were they wrong. <laughs> yes. This was said by Bill Gates. No, no. Look in. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. In number six, paragraph number six. No, Bill Gates wouldn't say that. He was making home computers. He was hoping everybody would have a home computer. <laughs> so who says not? The question is who said it or he, who? Yeah, who's, it? who said that? Who said people will not ah, okay. need home computers? It. Okay. It was uh, a DEC Corp. Digital. Uh, no. Wait. Okay, ah. that was the company. Yeah. But there was this a person was, there. Yeah, this was said by the co founder, Ken Olsen. Ken Olsen. And when did he say this? He said this in 1977. Yeah, 1977. Yeah. <laughs> Some people really get it wrong. <laughs> I, I, I think it depends on, on what he wills as home computer. Maybe. In 1977, yeah. um, the computers were great big things that were in complete rooms, like the big IBMs. If, if it is not a laptop... It there was not. no such thing. In yeah. those days. Because now people use laptops everywhere. That's you know right. I mean? Yes. So it's, it's not really a home computer. Oh, I see what you mean. But I think what he was meaning uh, was for consumer use rather than military or big corporation use. Because at the time, um, computers were huge. I remember we had one in our school that took up an entire room. And we um, entered data through uh, a, a keyboard terminal thing on the outside of the room. It was huge. <laughs> so I think that was what they were thinking, that if you wouldn't have a room full of a computer at your home. OK? Oh, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, now we have laptops. We carry them everywhere. So they've become a everywhere thing, not just even in your home. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, number seven. Number seven. Uh, who do we have down in the end? Di Diego, can you read number seven? Yes. Thank you. The, the problem of the spawn will be solved by 2006. Okay, we usually say 2006. Okay, thank you. Okay, say it. <laughs> You're practicing. Say 2006. 2006. 2006. And six. Okay. Yes, 2006. Yes. Okay, Thank so you. who said that? Mm, I can remember. Uh, if you read the, um, the article, paragraph, paragraph seven. Paragraph seven? Yes. The last, no. The article seven, no. Can anybody else answer that question from paragraph Bill seven? Gates. Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Uh, Bill Gates. What year? In what year? Two thousand and four. Two thousand and four. Two thousand and four. So he figured in two years they'd have it straightened out. Uh, I don't think they have it straightened out yet. <laughs> Too long for the diction for Bill Gates. Yeah. Okay, Unai. Unai, can you read number eight? Yes, I can. Please. Number eight. Alex Lewitt. Um, number ah, eight. There will be, there will yes. be nuclear powered vacuum, vacuum cleaners before 1980. Okay. Who said that? The last paragraph of the article. Yes, Alex Lewitt. Okay, Alex Lewitt. And when did he say that? Mm, but I don't know there. I don't know yes. when. 
Okay, the very first sentence, what does that say? Just over half a century ago. Right. So that's what I put down. Yeah. yeah half okay. a century ago. So that would make it, I think, somewhere around 1962 or thereabouts. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, now we're going to look a little bit at the uh, language that's used in reporting predictions. So if somebody could read me that... Um, <coughs> description under reporting predictions. What does it say? Um, yes. Whoops. Oh, I flipped on up. Whoops. Let's see if I can get back to this thing again. There we go. I'm not getting um, names up now, so I can't see who I'm look looking at. Okay, Mo. Is it you? Yes, could you read what it says under reporting predictions? The instructions. Sure. Reporting predictions. Look at the following sentences from the article and complete the rules below with will, want, plus infinitive, and would, w wouldn't, plus infinitive. Okay. So, James, read the first sentence under that. James, are you there? Yes. Okay. So after the instructions, the first sentence? Um, there will never be a bigger airplane built. Okay, there will never be a bigger plane built. Okay, and um, Gary, can you read the next sentence? He said people. Would solve the child of st staring at a bird every night. Okay, so in the first sentence, we're using the which one? The will won't or the would wouldn't plus infinitive in the first sentence? Will won't. Okay, so we're using will. So when we read the sentence, there will never be a bigger plane built. We're looking into the future and saying that we definitely think there will never be a bigger plane built. So it's very definite. Okay. Now, what are we using in this sentence? He said people would soon get tired of staring at a box every night. Slim? Yes. So are we using the will won't or the would wouldn't for the second for the second sentence? Uh, would won't. Okay. Wouldn't. Okay. So we're using the would there. Now he said people would soon get tired. Would is we're using it to to the plot set any future prediction made in the past. Yes, exactly. So let's see. Oh, I have to. Click on my document. There it is. We use will to make a future prediction that we are certain about. And we use would to report a certain future prediction made in the past. So even when we're certain of a prediction, we don't necessarily get it right. <laughs> there were certainly bigger planes built than for 10 people. But is that rule clear? Does everybody understand that, or do you have a question? Uh, no questions. And when we use going to, that is uh, that is used when something is more certain than will. Um, going to, yes. going to is. Um, is something that you're going to do in the future. It's not really making a prediction. Um, okay, it's something I'm I'm going to go skating tomorrow. I'm going to. That's how you would use that. I will go skating tomorrow. Typically you might use that if you're going to use a conditional. 
I will go skating tomorrow if there if the ice is good. That sort of thing. But for making predictions, we just have to use will. We use will for making predictions. I'm not going to. Okay. All right. So, um, Heber, can you read the instruction here, please? Okay. Complete the following definitions with infinitive forms of the underlined verbs from the text. Okay, so we're going to look at the article. Uh, hopefully everybody has it there. You'll see that there are words that are underlined. And those words are not usually in the infinitive form, but what we're going to do is find the infinitive form to fit the um, definition that we have written on the screen here. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay, so for number one, um, Julissa, do you want to try that one first? So what's the definition? <coughs> Read the definition. Okay, number one. It says on number one. To say that something is true, although you cannot prove it. Okay, so look in the article and see if you can find a verb that means that and give me what the infinitive form is of the verb. Can you find one? Anybody else? You. You'd. Okay, I heard it somewhere here. Uh -oh. Okay, somebody said claim? Yes. yes. Who was that? Okay, let's see. To claim. To say that something is true, although you cannot prove it. Okay. Um, Mo, can you do number two, please? What? Read the, um, the definition. To say that something will happen in the future. Okay. And take a look in the article. See if you can find an under underlined word that means that. I guess it's in uh, uh, paragraph number two, predict. Okay, to predict, that's right. Yes. Okay. And uh, Rasel, can you do number three, please? Read mm -hmm. the uh, definition first. To state something clearly or publicly. Okay. Um, uh, to declare, yes. Declare or argue. Okay, declare. To okay. state something clearly or publicly is to declare something. To argue it means you're going to give a whole lot of backup information, and it's not as clear. It it's it's um, um you have to to bring arguments into it. Arguing is back and forth. Mm -hmm. This is declare. This is the way it is. Mm. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. Um, James, can you do number four, please? Yes. So read the uh, definition first, and then see if you can to find it in the to article. To state an opinion or idea, giving you a reason for it. Okay. Which one do you think it is? Use the word from where? You're going to use a word from the articles that we read about the uh, predictions. And you'll see there are verbs that are underlined. And mm. one of those verbs has this meaning, to state an opinion or idea giving your reasons for it. Um, hey, would somebody like to help him out? To, to yes. claim. To argue. Mm. To argue. To claim. argue. Well, we've already got claim done. 
so this one is to argue and that's what I was saying when we were talking about declare declare you state something clearly to argue you're going to state an opinion and then back it up you're going to give all the reasons why you believe this is correct that's an argument when two people argue they go back and forth stating why their position is right and the other person's position is wrong so that's when you get two people arguing and that's why we call it an argument <laughs> okay all right somebody down here Diego can you do number five yes read, read the definition okay to say that something is not true okay it's maybe to lie um, can you write it in the box in the chat box so I can see what you mean I thought no you can because I couldn't hear you very well it's made me like to make a okay the word has to come from the article that we were reading so there are verbs that are underlined in the article and one of them it means to say something is not true to deny deny that's right deny that's right. to deny okay good oh this gets very complicated I'm wondering if we'll uh, we don't have very much time here and I think if we uh, if we do this it's going to take way too much time okay. if everybody could take a look at uh, page four yes number six like see if I can get it up on my screen Grammar practice. this one will be a little bit uh, easier Alright. Yes. Yes. Um. To... I'm just trying to get this up. All right. Back to my screen share. Come on, screen share. All right. Can people read that on the screen? Is that big enough to read? Or if you have it on your um, on the it's page, okay, I guess. Okay. It's readable. Okay. So. Um, James? Yes. Reading number one, you have a choice between robots or the robots in this sentence. Read the sentence with which you think is correct. Either robots or the robots. The robot will become popular. The robot will become very important in our life one day yes the robots or robots which do you think I think the robot okay oh man I've got a script coming up on here all the time unresponsive script I don't know why um, so we're going to look at whether the noun is general or specific Maybe I needed to do a, an exercise before this. Oh. Robots. I think it's robots. Robots will become yeah. very important in our lives one day. That's right. Yes, because we're not the talking... More general. I don't know the rule, yeah. but it's more suitable. It makes sense. Okay, the rule is um, when you're talking about um, a very general noun, 
then you don't need to put the on. If you're going to talk about something that's very specific, you would use the. So you're talking about a specific one. So there are um, uh, there are cats, and you could be talking generally about cats in the world. But there are specific cats that live in a house. The cats that live in the house. Okay, so that's you're talking about something specific. In this case, robots, we're just talking about robots in general. Robots will become very important in our lives one day. And what about the computers? First of all, look at the sentence. Are we, are we talking about specific computers or computers in general? Specific, specific. because it's our computers yeah. that use... Okay, so... So what's the sentence going to read like? The computers we use at work aren't very good. Exactly. Good job. Thank you. Now, number three. Who would like to tackle that sentence? Who would like to, to say that one? Mo, how about you? Number three. Yes, it's you. Do, do you listen to music? Exactly. Why did you not say the music? Well, I don't know. It just happens. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we're looking at what this rule is. Do you listen to music means you're asking something, somebody if they listen to music at all, any music. But do you listen to the music means something specific. So you might be saying, do you listen to the music? from the monastery. So then you would say the music. Maybe it sounds right if I say, are you listening to the music? Yes, but that would if work it too. Is, if, if it's only do you listen to the music, it's somehow heavy. It's, it's wrong because music is going to be very general. It's not specific. Okay. Are you listening to the music means you're, you're hearing very specific music and you're asking somebody if they hear it. So then it's the music. Okay, so the next one, number four, shows that. So who would like to read number four? How about James? Can you read number four, please? Nothing from James? Can I? Can I answer? Who was that? Slim? Yes. Yes, please. The music they played at disco last night was awful. <laughs> so why did you choose the music? Because uh, the music is specific to that played in last night at, uh, in disco. Perfect. That's exactly right. Okay. Uh, Rasel, can you do uh, number five? Mm, pizza is my favorite food. Okay, so not the pizza. With, you know, the pizza at Domino's is my favorite food, but pizza in general is my favorite food. Good. And uh, Julissa, number six? Number six, it would be the pizza I ate for lunch was delicious. Exactly. Very good. And what is this? Um, okay, Mo, can you do the next one, please? Uh, number seven, teacher? Yes, please. Yes, people all the people can be very unhelpful sometimes. Okay, the people or just people? The people, I guess. Uh, returning back to your theory or your rule, it's people. That's right. It's people yeah. can be very unhelpful sometimes. So it's a general statement. It's not... Like it's the... a general truth. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on, I'm trying to be helpful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I think we're going to have to go. It's 7.59 already. 
Okay. Um, thank you so much. I wish we could have got through more of the material, but I had too much material this time. Thank you all for joining me. I hope it's been helpful. And thank, you. Yeah. thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jen. Okay, I'll Thank see you, you. At the, the you. next time I'm see. teaching. See you. Okay, <laughs> take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Hi, Mo. Hi, Slim. How are you? <laughs> I'm very fine. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> I guess, I guess uh, our team.